Hi Pisces, welcome to your love reading for June. This is Mary and this is Leo Sunlight Insight. Thank you so much for stopping by and watching. If you're new or returning, welcome and thank you. This is a love connection you believe you have with someone. So you do actually have to know them whether you're together or not. Um, that's okay. We'll see what your connection is. If you are single and wondering about new love, I do offer single readings on my channel. Please feel free to check them out. Uh, description box below, you will find your links to your playlist, Love in General. You can watch past readings. I consider them all timeless. Or if this doesn't resonate for you, check other signs in your chart. Link below to get your free uh, birth chart. And you can watch other signs in your chart if you would like to. Cross watchers are welcome. The message may ask, actually be for you and not for you, you know, about your person, so please keep that in mind. Um, this is for Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective, not a private reading. If you would like a private reading, all the information is below, along with a lot of other stuff, so please go check that out. This could be past, present, or future, so please do keep that in mind. You can interchange, switch the energies around uh, as you see fit. Only take the messages that resonate for you, um, however it resonates for you. If it does not at all, again, you can go back and watch uh, past readings if you would like to. Okay, Pisces. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, male or female, general collective. Let's see what's going on for Pisces. Welcome. Hope everybody's doing well, staying safe and healthy at this time. This is a Zodiac Oracle, so we could get a sign, element, or planet. See how that plays into your reading. If you don't resonate with the sign, that perhaps may come out totally fine. The rest of the reading may be for you. This is the Magdalene deck. All the decks are listed below, too, if you're interested in that. New deck for me, so we'll pull an opening energy between you and your person, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. And then we'll pull one for you, one for them, how you're feeling about each other and the connection, one for the mutual energy, clarifying that energy with the tarot. And then we'll look at the situation, um, advice and guidance, possible outcome, uh, clarity on the bottom of the deck, and then extra messages at the end from the angel answers. So let's see what we have for Pisces at this time. Spirit, please, thank you so much. Show me what I need to see. For Pisces, love, general collective, someone rising, Venus, male or female. Sign, element, or planet for Pisces, please. Thank you so much for Pisces. I'm, nope, that's two. I just want one. Oh, there we go. Water. So that is your element. Water. Or you could be dealing with a fellow water sign, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but you don't have to be. But water is very fluid. It's very healing. It's a feminine energy. Um... It's about, you know, going with the flow. It's healing. Um, it's also about love, emotions, feelings, and that kind of energy also. And that is 6. Two, 24 is 6. 6 is a very healing, balancing energy. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. So, you know, we could be talking about Cancer, Scorpio, or Pisces. They do all represent different um, cards in the Major Arcana. I usually go over that, but that's a lot of signs to get into. Um, but... Okay, so either needing to uh, go with the flow about something here, or it's about deep healing, or it's about uh, love and emotions here. So we'll see how that plays out. All right, so let's see. Let's see about Pisces, please. Let's get an opening energy for this love connection for Pisces, whoever you're thinking about at this time for this reading. Oh. Not that's too many. Whoever Pisces is thinking about for this reading, someone rising Venus, male or female, general collective. Okay. Opening energy. So we have co-create. So there's an energy here. You see the heart lit up. You see butterflies for transformation. I do see like light around the eyes, but it kind of reminds me almost of like maybe tears at one time. So it could be, you know, something is transforming here in this connection, and there's an energy now of wanting to come together. Teamwork, collaboration, compromise to co-create together in some way. So we'll see how that plays into your reading. And it also co-creation does uh, speak of like co-creating with the universe and that kind of energy. All right. So, but as this is a love reading and your and the opening energy is an energy here of a need for either some sort of teamwork, collaboration, compromise, co-creating something together here. So let's get one for you, Pisces. Pisces, I'll put you here, your person here, mutual in the middle. But if you feel like the energies need to be reversed, please do that at any time. All right, Pisces. One for Pisces. How is Pisces feeling about this connection and their person, whoever they're thinking about? 
for this reading, that one, one for Pisces person. How are they feeling about Pisces in this connection? One for the mutual energy. I'm going to take from the bottom. And let's see what we have. So Pisces, for you, we have Purgatory. So you're, you're feeling, um, that's like stuck, my stuck in limbo card. Not sure what's going to happen. Is it going forward? Is it going backwards? Are we stuck? Is this going anywhere? Like not really sure where this is going. It's like kind of stuck, feeling stuck. Either stuck in this connection or stuck like you don't know where this is going. Is it ending? Is it moving forward? Are we just stuck where we are? And your person here has the messenger. So they may be communicating something to you. So we do have messages coming in. They're wanting to send a message. We'll send a message. Wanting to communicate in some way, shape, or form. Let's see what the mutual energy is. Perception. So yeah, you're both stuck in this energy. I feel um, you could be see, perceiving this as just stuck. Like it's not going anywhere. Um... Maybe you feel like you're stuck in purgatory, like it's not heaven, it's not, well, I don't want to say hell, I don't want to get demonetized for saying hell, but it's like it's not heaven, but it's not the opposite either. It's like just stuck, like not happy, not sad, not, you know, it's just blah. So you're perce you're perceiving this in that energy, and they're perceiving this as um, needing to have a talk with you in some way, shape, or form. But we do have co-creation here. So whether that's co-creating something moving forward or co-creating transformation or just teamwork collaboration in some way, shape, or form. But, you know, we do have water here, which does talk about going with the flow, healing, and feelings. So let's see where this is going. It's interesting. Interesting. So, I mean, you both could be, be perceiving this as, like, kind of over and stuck and not going anywhere. But both, you know, in the energy of wanting to co-create moving forward in some way, shape, or form. So you could be waiting on a message from them. They're wanting to send a message. So let's see what's going on. Let's clarify this energy spirit, please. Thank you so much. Let's make it clear, direct to the point. For Pisces in love, someone rising Venus, male or female. Please show me what I need to see. For Pisces. So let's get two for Purgatory for your energy. Okay, I'm feeling these two. And then two for the Messenger for your person. Alright, I'm feeling these two. And then two for the Mutual Energy for Perception. Okay, definitely that one. One more. One more for the Mutual Energy for Perception. Okay, I'm feeling that one. All right, let's see what we have for you, Pisces. So we have the Five of Wands and the Knight of Cups. So this Five of Wands is conflict. It could be inner conflict, uh, challenge. It could be competition. Or it could be arguing between the two of you. But the Knight of Cups here is, you know, moving forward in love, making a gesture, you know, taking that movement forward in love, but feeling very conflicted about this. You know, and the movement forward could be, you know, in love or it could be apologies, you know, forgiveness, healing kind of energy, but conf confliction. So there's confliction or challenge here. Like you, you feel stuck because purgatory is like, a, to me, a feeling of being stuck and not sure. So you could be conflicted about, you know, moving forward in love with this person, like feeling very, you know, five is very challenge. Uh, five is about change and challenge. So there's an energy of feeling stuck about either change or the challenge of this. So let's see what your person has. So we have the King of Wands and the Two of Wands. So the King of Wands could be um, Sagittarius. And over here, the Knight of Cups could be Scorpio. Now, if I say the sign, fine. If I don't, that's fine, too. If you resonate, you resonate. So the King of Wands, very fiery, passionate go-getter. But the two of wands is about being at a crossroads, unsure, needing to choose a path uh, kind of energy, about making plans and decisions for the future. So I feel like they're making plans and decisions for their future here. And they're about to send you a message about what their decision is about the future of this. And you're just feeling stuck like, okay, are we going to fight and argue or are we going to move forward in love? You know, is it... 
a lot of challenging energy here. So let's see what the mutual energy is. So we have the King of Cups and the Three of Cups. So we do have um, Pisces, that's our energy with the King. Three of Cups, so this is reuniting, coming back together, um, having a good time, celebrations. So the energy is here of mutual love and affection in some way, shape, or form. But the King, I mean, King or Queen doesn't matter, but the King energy doesn't really speak of their love and affection too much. They may show it rather than speak it. So the energy is here is... There is love and feelings, but there may not be anybody saying much of anything, but are also an energy of wanting to, you know, come back together and reunite and uh, celebrate here. So, I mean, they could be, you know, choosing their path here and sending you a message about wanting to reunite, coming back together. And this is our energy here, wondering, okay, is this going to be very conflicting and challenging, or are we going to move forward in love? Because I think if they do come forward and say, okay, you know, I'm ready to move forward in love. I want to move forward in love. You will accept that offer. But you're not sure if the offer is going to come because the offer is back here. And you're not seeing it coming, I feel. And I feel like that's the message that could be coming in that they want to co-create together in some way, shape, or form. I feel like there's deep feelings and emotions here uh, also with the water energy. But it's more of like going in the flow with the flow of this connection. So let's get more energy about this connection, please, Spirit. Thank you so much. More energy about this connection. So we have the Knight of Wands in the world. So we do have the lovers here in the world energy. But this is about closure, com you know, completions, cycles, new cycles. Could be about distance, travel, uh, the Internet, World Wide Web. Maybe you're only connecting right now through the Internet because of the current situation. But this is about uh, Knight of Wands, forward movement, very fiery, passionate, taking action. This could be in and out energy too. Sometimes I consider this the player. This Knight of Wands uh, could be Leo for me, but it doesn't have to be. But we do have the world here, which could be Leo, Aquarius, Taurus, Scorpio. I feel like if this person has been like in and out, like player, not a player, but maybe just in and out, nothing steady. It's like you're ready to close this chapter either... You know, we take this forward movement in love, which they may not be speaking of. And, you know, three, I mean, threes can speak of third party, you know, so maybe, you know, they could have other people. And you're ready for them to make this choice to, you know, pick a, a choice. You know, do they want to live the single life or do they want, you know, this with me? So you're conflicted about what decision are they going to make here? Because they don't really say how they feel, but there definitely is love here on the table and passion. So they're ready to send a message, so we're going to see what that message is, but you're ready to either close this chapter and start new with this person, or close this chapter and stop this in and out energy with the Knight of Wands energy. It's like you don't want a knight, you want this King of Wands. You want them to come forward as a King, not a knight. So they may be getting ready here to come forward as a King. We'll find out and send that message, but uh, we'll see. So let's get uh, a couple more here. So we got the moon. There you are, Pisces, showing up under their energy. We got the moon. What else? What else? Our Pisces. Take that one. Well, we got the Ten of Cups and we got the moon. So, you know, the moon can talk about that's Pisces. So, can't talk all Pisces, but the moon can talk about fear. You know, not seeing the path clearly, um, deep feelings and emotions also, um, things being illuminated, you know. But the Ten of Cups here is we're coming out of the rain and going into happiness, joy, fulfillment, happy home and family. So I feel like this person, you know, I, they may be, be coming forward and getting out of this energy of leaving you out in the dark and in the cold. And because you see like the rain here, like this is like moonbeams, drops coming down, but then we have the rain with the Ten of Cups. So I feel like they're going to be enlightening you to uh, maybe they're wanting this Ten of Cups energy. Either that or they're running away from it. <laughs> so, but intense again about completions, but you're really in their energy here. And that rain could be further um, amplifying the message of water which is about love, emotions, and feelings. So 
Let's get two for the mutual energy. So there we have the Ace of Wands, Fiery Passion, New Beginning coming in here between you two. But then we have Death. So yeah, that's what I feel. So, I mean, the Ace of Wands usually speaks of, you know, a fiery, passionate new beginning. It's exciting. But again, we have the Knight with the Ace. So again, that could be their energy of, you know, in and out and not being stable and steady. And you are ready to end this with the Death card. Okay, if you don't come in as the King that I want you to be, um, I'm ending this. So this can be about endings, but then there's trans transformation, transcending new beginnings. But I feel like definitely you're going to end this if they don't come as a king and they still have this in and out energy. But I do see them in your energy, but they do have fear or maybe uh, fear about their deep feelings for you, which may cause them to run from this total happiness and joy and fulfillment that they could have with you. So I feel like I need more clarity on their side. Um... Are they running? Or are they running to you? Running away from you? I mean, the Ten of Cups, this is the before tarot. So, um, you know, this is before we actually get to the full Ten of Cups. But they're running out of the reins. So, let's see. What is this energy? Are they coming to Pisces as a king, as a knight? What do they want for Pisces? Are they going to come as a king? Well, they're going to come as an emperor. How about that? Aries energy here. So this is the divine masculine or feminine, whatever here. But it is divine masculine. You can be female, masculine. But they're going to come as the emperor here. So your divine counterpart. Taking lead, control, charge. Not as a king, but as an emperor. So that's a good energy. So what else? What else? Yeah, and I had just saw the sun. So we got Leo energy here. Total happiness, joy, success, victory, enlightenment, healing, happy home and family in every single way. So, yep, they're coming. They want this total happiness and joy with you. So the sun illuminates the moon energy. So, yeah, so they're coming. They're running. <laughs> they're running for their sun energy, which is you. So that's what I feel. Ten of Wands. So it's about an ending, like laying down the heavy burdens. So let's get one more. Why is that here? The Empress, wow. They can't take it anymore. They know Emperor and Empress, divine counterparts here. So now we have the Empress, which could be Libra or Taurus. So they know you are their divine counterpart. And they can't take the separation. They can't take um, how they've been treating you anymore. Now they want to come back. They want to heal this. They want this happiness, joy, victory um, with you. They may want a family with you in the future. Wow. Wow. They see you as this empress now. They know the value and worth of this connection. Wow, Pisces. And now they want to co-create. And I do see the empress can be about son, can be about children. Wow. So I feel like, and two, they want to end their player ways. Dealing with their uh, deep feelings and emotions. They don't want the stormy energy with you anymore. They want just the sun. So we're running out of the storm into the sun. Pisces. Wow. All right, so let's get some advice and guidance for you, Pisces. Pisces, the magician. So here we are manifesting a brand new beginning with this person. That's your advice guidance. So now we have Gemini Virgo. So now we have uh, the devil, which is Capricorn, and we have the nine of cups, which, you know, can be self-indulgent. It is, you know, happiness, joy, wish fulfillment, but it can be overindulging. You know, a single energy overindulging and some sort of toxic energy here with the Capricorn energy, which could be anything, you know, it could be that player energy with the Nine of Cups of overindulging in their player-like ways. So let's see what else here for advice. Page of Swords and the Five of Pentacles. So I feel like here, Page of Swords can be, you know, open, honest communication, um, kind of energy or spying, keeping tabs, learning things online or something like that. But we got the Five of Pentacles, which is about leaving something out of your life that is no longer serving you. It can talk a monetary lack or lack in some way. I feel like they're going to sending, be sending you communication because we did have the messenger here about how they feel so much lack in their life with just this over 
glutton energy of overindulging in like their player ways is getting empty for them. The Five of Pentacles is a very empty energy. I feel like they're going to be sending you communication here. They're ready to manifest something new with you. So that's what Spirit wants you to know. Wow. Because I feel like they're raising up this sword and cutting out this energy of overindulgence, being a glutton or whatever here. It's no longer fulfilling for them. It just makes them feel, in the end, in the long run, just very uh, lonely, cold, uh, you know, kind of energy. And they're ready for something new, manifesting something new. You see the pentacle here offering something solid and the love offer here. All right. And I feel, you know, the wand is down here. So I feel like they have more mental clarity than anything else and an infinite connection with you with the infinite symbol there. So let's see what the possible outcome could be for you, Pisces, in this connection. Two of Swords. So this is, again, the before tarot, but we have the King of Pentacles. So I feel like, you know, the Two of Swords can be about indecision, decision, not sure. So this person is ready to make a decision to come in as the King of Pentacles, which could be Virgo. It doesn't have to be. Someone strong, stable, grounded, secure, ready to come in as, like, a, to be that, you know, husband material, um, very grounded stable and trustworthy or commitment material in some way with that offer so they're about to make that decision to come in with an offer here with the king of pentacles as a king of pentacles a king that you wanted but now we're more stable not just passion two ones so again juggling finding balance We've got two twos here so they're about to make a major decision about this and Eight of Wands, here comes the communication. Wow, so they're getting ready here to send this communication. Finding the right way to do it, balancing out, ready to make that decision, ready to send the communication, and coming in as this more stable energy and not just that passionate in and out energy. Wow, they're ready to co-create with you, Pisces. So let's get five from the bottom of the deck. I'm going to take that one too. I usually take five, but take six. So what do we have here? So we have the Page of Cups. So here comes the apologies. Here comes the messages of love, um, affection. We have the Four of Swords. Again, they've done that deep thinking, healing, meditating, you know, retreating, finding the answers from within, and ready to uh, make this decision to come forward as a more stable person. And now we have the Queen. So now we have counterparts here. So they see you as their match. And here's the offer, and you probably will be accepting it. So here's the offer they're getting ready to give, and here's the offer being offered. So, and you, you're still, I think you're still worried. You've got the snake here, so you could still be worried about their past energies here. But um, I think this is a friendly little snake. I don't think you have to worry, you know, about anything toxic behind it. Because I do see the devil attached over here. So I think you're worried about there being some, you know, toxic energies still with this connection, but I don't think that's a poisonous snake, so I don't think you have to worry about that. And then we do have the Ace of Swords, so here's my Divine Clarity, my Divine Source card, it's Truth, it's Clarity, Epiphany, Aha Moment, and this Queen of Pentacles can be um, Capricorn, but doesn't have to be. So Ace of Swords, brand new beginning based on Truth, Clarity, Open, honest communication, cutting away things no longer serving, standing up, not backing down, aha moment, epiphanies, divine clarity from the source energy, and the Ace of Pentacles. So here's that offer again. It's stable, it's grounded, it's secure for the long term. This person now coming back, wanting long term commitment to co co create with you, transform this connection, offering you this pentacle could be an engagement, marriage, higher levels of commitment. And we have judgment. So here we are, forgiving, learning. Um, bringing the soulmates back together here, making that final judgment call on this connection. So I do see divine counterparts here. Now them wanting to come in, offer something stable. They've made that judgment call. So we have two twos here about, you know, making decisions and judgments. And here we have forgiveness, soulmates coming together and making that final judgment call. The Ace of Swords, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands. We didn't get the Ace of Cups, but... Um, I mean, we do have the king and the page and the knight 
energy. Yeah. <laughs> wow. So they've had a big epiphany, aha moment here with the tower, Aries, that you are their divine counterpart, Gemini with the lovers, soulmate, twin flame energy, now coming in to serve you the justice you deserve with Libra energy, truth, clarity, and balance, bringing justice in here. So, yeah, that's what I see. Wow. So let's get some closing energies for you, Pisces, on this connection. Wow. So I feel like, I don't know if necessarily they were a player. I just think maybe they, you know, were keeping their options open or they were dating other people or they were uncertain what they wanted. But now it's like they have that divine clarity that you're the one for them. You're their match. You're their divine counterpart. Now they're getting ready to send you a message. And if you've been waiting, it's coming that they want to co-create with you for the long term. All right. And, you know, I don't know how long, you know, it's been stuck here. But feeling like you've been in purgatory, perceiving maybe it's done. But I don't think it's done yet. So whether or not you want to let this person back in and, you know, accept this is up to you. But I think they're honest and sincere. You know, they've come to terms with their deep feelings and emotions. They're wanting healing and balance. Kind of let it flow naturally between the two of you. Now, let things just flow. All right, so let's get some closing messages here for Pisces. It's up to you, exactly. And I felt that, and I just said that. In the end, it will be up to you if you want to co-create with this person. What else for Pisces? Oh, it's way too many. All right, failing this one. Abundance. So there can be a lot of growth, abundance, prosperity in this moving forward now. If you choose to accept it in the near future. So expect communication in the near future. What else for Pisces? If you believe. So don't give up. If you believe that, you know, this is also your divine counterpart, then that is coming. And meditation brings answers. Praying, meditating, listen to your gut, your intuition, your higher knowing. And forgiveness all starts with forgiveness and healing. And moving forward. And I did see within the next few months, so in recovery. So I do see recovery within the next few months, but I feel it's going to start with a message coming in in the near future, and the near future could be within the next few months. Total recovery here in this connection if you choose it. Wow. Okay, Pisces, best of luck to you. Sending you many light, love, and blessings. And as I always say with my channel, so always, always shine your light.